Um, I figured I'd go ahead and give the heads up since I haven't dropped it anywhere else on any of social media, but it looks like I have another knee surgery coming up. Surgery, tomorrow, tomorrow morning. That is number three, and I am going in for my fifth knee surgery. Not stoked on it, it super sucks. Regarding total knee replacements, like I'm getting that done on the 9th of April. Man, it's mentally defeating going back in for another round. It's tough to try to be fully confident and fully invested in surgery number eight when those last seven didn't work and they left you in pain. Um, ACL's yeah. going again. I feel really defeated. It's like every time I've come in, there's always been this extra caveat of something not going as planned. So that did not fucking go as planned. I get to fucking go back in tomorrow and have my knee scoped and rinsed out. Fuck, fuck. And then we're gonna implant cartilage. This is called an oats procedure. I have to say, I'm actually I'm pretty nervous. It seems that the oats procedure that we did back in September, the one on the inside of my knee that gives me the most amount of pain, just isn't healing. Fuck! There's nothing I'm fucking doing wrong. Never, I've never had to deal with something like that for rehab. I've never had to not be functional. I'm so fucking tired of dealing with going in for goddamn surgery. This is the one where rehab's gonna be tricky. This is what's gonna put me in the straight leg brace for like six to eight weeks with like toe touch pressure on crutches. And this isn't gonna be a minor scope surgery. This is gonna be another six weeks on crutches, post-surgery, and a four to six month recovery, so. Fuck man, I need a break. I need, I just wanna be normal. I just want out of pain. Like I just wanna feel the ability to not question every step I take during the day. Not be held back by fucking walking. Like, surely I can walk as far as I want to. I can go on hikes and, like, I can be able to be on my feet all day. Right? That's what I want. That's where I need to be. That's where I can... If it can just let me do the work, I can do it and I can figure out a way to do it. But it keeps taking away at the little things that I'm capable of. Yeah, walked away for two years. Yeah, so we're gonna be breaking all those old habits. I really want to see you come up on those toes, and then when you swing it forward, hit with that left or that heel first. Okay. Okay. So up on your toes when you're right before you swing it through. And then so right now, come up on your toes. Yep, and then hit with your heel. Yep. Come up on your toes. Yep. Okay. Are you a little pigeon toed on the other leg? Well, they both were. They both were? Maybe not so much on the right one now. Not okay. anymore. They fucked that all up. <laughs> right. How about the next picture? We'll turn around and head back to your room. Good morning. So today is day one post-surgery. And uh, I'm going to start really, really light rehab. Mentality-wise, what I think about is... Man, I've really enjoyed competing. As far as me throwing again, I don't know. That very, very well could be done. I'm okay if that time's done. And if it is, so be it. Like, I'm not holding on to anything. There isn't anything I missed out on. I don't have any regrets. I've said that before, but until I am capable of running and sprinting and hiking and jumping and doing all these other normal things, it doesn't make a lot of sense for me to put a lot of weight in getting back to the field and throwing far. But mentally, where with that, it's been kind of freeing that it's been, that that decision's taken away from me, almost. Now I'm really open that I don't feel weird about losing weight, I don't feel weird about strength stuff. Update today, weight loss to one. Well, 261. We are down to 244. The right direction, it's 237 this morning. Pretty happy with how things are looking. Keep doing the day-to-day -day stuff. Keep doing the right thing, keep doing the time. That's what I've got to stay focused on. If, if I got to do all the things that I got to do in that 10 in the last 10 years, make all these awesome relationships with people, see the world, compete, win world titles, have these amazing experiences, if I've gotten to do all of that, 
it was worth a knee. It was worth it. I'll find another goal and I'll pursue it. I want to push myself as far as I can as, as a human, as a person. I mean, I'd be really sad if a, my time comes to an end and what ends up on my tombstone is how far I threw a rock in the field somewhere. That's not me. I can start figuring out more of what I want to do, what I want to accomplish, the things I want to see for the rest of my life and how living a strong life is still going to be a better one for me. That's what I want to do. Yeah, man! So we're three days out from the run. We fly out today to Utah. We'll stay with a friend tonight, pick up our RV in the morning, and then head into Bryce Canyon. So physically, I feel I feel pretty good. No real aches, pains. Uh, deload has been the right way, so everything feels really ready to go. I'll be much happier once we get there get the RV, get it loaded, and then we get to Bryce Canyon, that eliminates for me a bunch of the pieces between like getting ready for the race and starting the race. But also it's a lovely distraction of things to think of before I'm going to compete. I'm, I'm still nervous about it, man. There's still, there's still a big part of, of unknown of like how it's going to go, how, 18 miles and 4,000 feet of elevation change are. I haven't done anything anywhere near that. Like the 28 miles that I did on the Berryman Trail were, it's like 500 feet of elevation. Like there's none. So this will be a whole new challenge. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. And I feel in shape enough that I should be able to really enjoy the day. Let's party. I feel really, really good. Doing doing the hike uh, a few weeks ago, it, it took a little of the mystery of how I think this is gonna go. I feel pretty confident that I'll hit my goal. And again, my goal's so low, right? That doesn't make it a bummer. It's not like I'm, I'm not happy about it. But my goal is to enjoy the 18 miles. My goal is to be fit enough that I can enjoy doing the thing and it doesn't just turn into this death march for six hours because I'm not, I'm not doing it to prove a point to my body. I'm trying to do it as a thank you for allowing me to be able to do stuff again thing. It does feel cool to be kind of competing in a thing again. It's a little different, but... There's a little bit there of like preparation and I got to deload and now we're at a thing, traveled to it. So it's a, a welcome friend. Feel good though. Got a chance to take care of my body. I camp tonight doing what my favorite thing ever. So I'm mean, in a really good spot for this thing. Excited to get up tomorrow morning and uh, go move around a little bit and check out Bryce Canyon. Good night. Good morning. Last day before the race. Shake out this morning feels really good. Really, really happy when with where my body feels. Hip doesn't bother me, my knees not bothering me. 
Uh, head's really good. I'm excited about the event. I'm excited to be out there and have this time in this incredible looking environment and and running like it's a very odd idea still that that i'm gonna go run a thing tomorrow with a group of people most likely but i'm excited to see the different energy of it i don't really have a whole lot of nervousness right now if if that's gonna start it'll it won't show up until tomorrow like right before the race and curious to see if it manifests in the same way that it did with the highland games of like the two hours before competing, I'm basically yawning. I have to poop a lot and I yawn a lot. And then it's go time. Right now, today, we're gonna loosen up. We're gonna head into Bryce Canyon and figure out what all the race entails, like where we check in and get my badge. And then uh, we're gonna go into the park and look around a little bit. And uh, I'm gonna get a little bit of a run in. Probably something, in, you know, in the 30 minutes, an hour of a walk run, just to, really get the heart up for an extended amount of time since tomorrow will be you know five or six hours the pretty good warm up at what 20 or 30 percent of the whole thing but i'm excited man it's been really really cool to train for a thing again even though it's a thing i don't like i still don't like running i don't enjoy this but there is some really cool parts to it that i think i'm gonna have to keep in my program with some running that's it I can accomplish that. There you go. Take some pins, gotcha. grab your shirt. Thank you. Next, please. Hello. You're missing your shirt. I figured I was getting one. You are. Let me see your fit real quick. So, the only concern I have right now of nervousness for this thing is can I hydrate enough? That's really the goal today is I'm going to pound as many of these as I can with electrolytes in it and then tomorrow get my bag ready to go and I may buy a second water bottle to carry with me just running out of water is real stupid that's the one thing I have to avoid is running out of water and starting to cramp up that's the only thing that could beat me is me being unprepared and being an idiot last to start 7 a.m. Yeah, 7 7:30 is what it says. Oh, Grim Reaper, Badger Creek, aid station. 10:45 a.m. 30k time limit. 3 p.m. So I gotta be done by three. Three. Holy shit! Oh. Better. Awesome. If she turns, we moving. That's the time shut it down. 
really, really cool day today. Um, shakeout was good, warm up was good, body feels good. Now time to get the as good a night of sleep as possible. I imagine it'll be be all right. There's a lot of unknowns tomorrow, but I'm really excited. And today was able to stay the way I needed to. I was able to hydrate all day. I feel pretty good about where I'm at with that, despite that. It's dry out here, man. <laughs> it is really dry. So remembering tomorrow while I'm out there, if I can nasal breathe more than mouth breathe, I'll hold on to more hydration. So that's just a little bit to remember. It's uh, time to party tomorrow. That's why we did this whole thing. That's why we trained for a thing. That's why the whole thing's been fun. The whole thing's been cool to have to have a goal, to have a thing to do again, to get better at a thing, and then actually now get to go do it. I miss doing this. We'll figure out more things that are fun adventures. Good night. day so pretty good slept last night as though I had a big thing coming today that I'm not terribly sure of so up and down a little bit my body has also decided to poop anything out that showed up in the last 24 hours so it knows we don't need to carry that with us on the trip so that's excellent it's not like sick to your stomach it's just like your body's like we don't need this please get out of here we have things to do today despite that like emotionally I'm way lower and pretty pretty mellow about the whole thing than I was competing in the games. It, it's cool to feel that little change of stuff and today's different, today matters. Like today's the thing that's gonna be a different experience. I'm looking forward to the day. So I'm gonna have some oatmeal, drink some coffee, and I don't have to do anything for another two hours. That's what it's gonna look like. Ice day, let's race. Be a day, dude. Be a great day. Yeah, I'm just ready to get going. Yeah. Finish right at the start line back there. Here we go, 18 miles. About 40 minutes in, two and a quarter, give or take. Hot elevation on the first half of the day. So get through it while the sun is still hidden in the clouds. 
behind the mountains. It's pretty cool. Definitely notice the uh, seven plus thousand feet of elevation. It's way different than St. Louis. Overall though, just not moving fast, but we're moving, we're moving. It's kind of a cool thing. I've never done something with this big a group of people. You're just kind of always in it. Just over an hour, current pace, it's about 17 minute miles. Puts me at right around six hour finish time. Six hours, long time to do a thing. Yeah, interesting challenge. Very, very cool seeing my body kind of standard prep for competition for sure. It felt right. <laughs> Just such a different thing to control versus what I'm used to because there's no big explosive effort. It's just grind. And being excited to grind, that's an unlock. That's an ability of liking the process. That's gonna pay big. There's a moment in your smile When your eyes focus into mine So we're going to slow down a little bit, as there's no choice. <sighs> a little bit of a chonga line up here. Chonga line? That's not the right word. Conga. Chonga line, that's a terrible one. <sighs> Wildly incorrect. Just going to keep moving. Time's not a concern, like I said. <sighs> it's warmer now. <laughs> it's, uh, Climb behind me. Real cool day. You can come or you can stay. There's cheap beer and cigarettes a couple miles away. All right, another four miles to the next rest station. I think that's the big first hill of the day. Fuck, I hope so. Got some chips. I'm gonna eat these, and I'll probably start moving a little faster. <laughs> Very fun. I could, uh, we'll see how I feel at the end about doing another one of these. Finally able to cruise a little. Sorry for how shaky this is. Man, that's seven miles in. And uh, I've never done anything like this up in the mountains, right? Fuck, I get it. This is really, really cool. <laughs> Combination of music and energy supplements, whatever, is. Uh, Pretty 10 out of 10. I'm glad I trained for this. Really, really glad I get to have this experience today and it be a joy. Here's the next uh, aid station. Filt my water again. So I'm gonna be plowing through that. Starting to get a little bit of cramping. It's just calves. Achilles do too. Elevation, man. There's a lot of it. Also, Poop. Oh my God. Oh my God. What? Yeah, I wish I would have known. <laughs> Stupid things are heavy. <laughs> so 
just wrapped up the aid station. I uh, chose not to poop. I've got some good wipes with me. Uh, there's a line for the bathroom. I think I would rather use a tree when the moment hits. I also ran into someone wearing a pair of goat shorts, so that's fucking dumb and cool. Uh, I got some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, though. You can't stop that from being great. All right, ramblers. Let's get rambling. <laughs> Awesome watching Matt train for an event that was completely out of his wheelhouse. I mean, an 18 mile run is not something either of us have ever done before and watching him really, really invest all his time and energy into preparing this was incredibly motivating for me to watch. I'm a little bit jealous because I know he's been going to be getting like amazing views and incredible scenery and this is absolutely gorgeous out here. So. I hope he's having an awesome time. I hope he's enjoying himself. I wouldn't be surprised if he decides to do another one in the future. It's been pretty impressive watching what he's done. I don't think the average human could go through that and do what he's doing. Creating content for it has been awesome. I like having the opportunity to create things with a really deep meaning to them. Like thinking about like how he never thought he was gonna be able to do this again, and now he's running in this beautiful landscape for 18 full miles. I'm super stoked for him. I'm, I'm super behind everything that, you know, he stands for. His kind of goals and trying to just always be ready for anything and any adventure, that's, that's what this is. That's fully what this is, and I can't wait to see his face when he gets back across the finish line. I'm not really worried at all. I think he has a good handle on everything. The 28 mile hike that he did back home in Missouri, I think, really inspired a lot of confidence in him that he can handle this mileage. I don't think there's anything that I'm worried about. I think if there's anything that comes up, he's pretty level-headed and will be able to rationally think his way out of anything. I'm not worried about anything. I think he's got, I think he's got the water situation figured out and Matt's a very resilient person. I think he's got it. I'm just pumped for him, man. I hope he has an awesome day. Yeah. I'm setting the sun, I'm ready to run, I'm walking the tide. miles over halfway just under three hours averaging about 18 minute pace so six hours six minutes so here's what I'm thinking where I'm currently at I get a lot of messages about this being inspiring or motivating or whatever it is my journey with my knee let me tell you the truth it inspires me man it inspires me that I can do more than I thought I could. I'm capable. A big feeling again. Like after being in pain and going through that stretch there and losing confidence in my body's ability to do stuff. That's a really tough challenge. Gaining some stuff back and starting to feel robust and sturdy again that I can trust my machine to work hard and move and not punish me with debilitating pain for the next five days. It's cool. I'm very, very grateful. Very, very inspired to do more things and be smart and see what I can do to get better. See what I can learn from different things. This, the ability to grind. Just keep going. I fucking really like it. I've also found this guy. That's also a mat. He also has a bum knee. It's true. It's true. It's the truth. Bum knees, knees unite. <laughs> it's it. Mats and shitty knees. Here we are. It's our own club. Yeah. Good One knee adventure team. Oh. I mean, if we come to it, we three-legged race That's exactly right, we three-legged race this thing if we have to. <laughs> so just rounded 12 miles. He's going good. Right now I'm predicted to finish in six hours and two minutes. We are way over halfway. Next aid station's in another mile. And then five miles out, man. 
fucking really cool. That last stretch, it's the first time the voice is like, what are we doing? This hurts. Remember the goal is finish, not fast. But, God damn, this has been a really interesting experience. Uh, like getting to share it with people on the trail and talk and do all that has been really, really cool. Today was a lot less running than, than I expected. Oh well, here we are. Just left, last water station. Uh, just shy of 14 miles. <laughs> Doing it. Fuck yeah, nothing's impossible. Nothing's impossible and this is wildly rewarding. Pretty low risk of injury. Big high reward. I'm really happy I chose to do this. Life rips, man. Always a party. Almost 16 miles in. Under 5K left. Making up some time here. This last bit's been pretty mellow downhill. It's been a nice single track run versus just obliterating that fire road all day. This is hard. It's not like max squat hard, but it's hard. It's a different hard. My feet are done. <laughs> Left groin. So his, uh, wants to start trying to cramp. So push as hard as I can and not get that thing to lock down on me. Be real dumb. Fuck it, doing it, man. It's under two miles right at five hours. Should be able to finish up in the next 45 or so. Maybe faster, who knows? I'll be trashed when I'm finished. One mile left. I'm pretty cashed. Like right now, trying to run, I gotta get a little nauseous pretty quick. Overall, very, very happy. Fuck yeah. Just broke the 18 mile mark. Now it's just here to the finish. Somewhere under a mile. I'm pretty slaughtered. I give it RPE eight. Eight, I don't wanna, I'm not interested in doing any more. I'd give it an eight or a nine. 10 would be I collapse at the finish line. And that's not really the goal. I've been ready to be done the whole last 5K. But overall, I am very fucking happy. There it is. <laughs> exhausted. Not far. I'm also over 19 miles. This is. I signed up for 18. Go. Don't forget to turn those meal tickets into food, was, guys. Uh, They're on your bib. That was awesome. And they work at the food trucks yeah. right over there. I even saw some oh, sauce yeah. or ice cream. Yeah, I know I've got a cheeseburger on order, so yeah. go get yourself some really lunch. Not be moving. Yep. Let's do that. I feel like a lump of shit. Jello, it sticks in it. I'm, I'm slaughtered, for sure. RPE 8-9. I don't want to do another 5K. I'd be super bummed if they were like, only 5K to finish. I'd be like, that's not what I signed up for. 
signed up for an 18 mile run and the fact that the actual distance today was like 19.2. Water was the main issue. That's the one I really was nervous about going into the day. I did a really good job of hydrating. However, I don't want to drink anything with fucking electrolytes in it. I'm good on that. I thought I had to shit my pants <laughs> at like mile eight when I got to that aid station. It's a little discerning that I haven't pooped yet. And that has been a thought for the last 12 miles is that I need to poop. And then I got here and I was like, this seems better. Yeah. Sitting still. Priorities. Yeah, I'm done moving. I don't want to move anymore. Left quad's tired. Knee, zero issue whatsoever. Feet are tired, as expected. A lot more elevation. It was just a death march for the first bit. Like it just was straight up what was essentially like a sand dune, like a single track. Like I knew once I got to mile 13 that I was gold. Man, that's hard. And I mean, it's cool because it's as hard as you want it to be, right? Like, if I wanted to go and just casually stroll the whole thing, cool, I'll finish in seven hours. But to finish in under six, whatever I finished in, um, I'm pretty proud of that. That means I stayed over a three mile an hour average the whole time. I don't know how much I ran. I pushed as hard as I could. I'm done. I have enough left in the tank that I wasn't worried about dying. But I'm tired. I'm fully spent. I... Yeah, I cashed all my all my checks today on that one. The only thing I really ate, I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich in one of the aid stations, and that was excellent. I bet. It's really good times. <laughs> I don't believe this will be the last thing like this I do. I think there could be some gravel bike stuff or like big rides. I'm not interested in giving up the amount of endurance I currently have yet. So I'm gonna figure out how to keep a hold of that. I'm not interested in doing another big run, but I did really enjoy the through hike that I've done. Mm -hmm. I like having that ability. I like, uh, yeah. yeah, I have a, I have a better ability now of managing hard things than I did prior to doing this. That's a really cool skill that coming from like explosive sports and strength stuff that I haven't had. I can work harder, longer without feeling the need to stop. Like I know I trust my body again. That's another big one of this that I, that I felt and I really thought about because I didn't think about my knee and hip. It hasn't been on my mind. My left groin and left quad are in worse shape than my hip. I feel robust again as an athlete, man. I feel like I can fucking take damage and I can, I'm not fragile anymore. Um, that was really tough. That feeling fragile thing. Yeah, not having that anymore is real cool. I keep leaning into that. Good day. I'm real happy about it. I'm real happy I got to do this. I'm glad I got to camp and be with you guys and do the whole thing. So, thanks for allowing me to focus on it. Spread hate. Let's party.